Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. I am Cindy Goodson, also known as the Fibroid Alchemist, and I wanted to shoot a quick video just to talk about what are fibroids. And I am talking about fibroids because I suffered with nine fibroids and I was told by seven different doctors that I was going to have a full hysterectomy. And here I am today, acknowledging the fact that I have never had one surgery, but all of the fibroids have been dissolved, if you will. Um, I, you know, people say you eliminated nine fibroids. Well, I just dissolved them. I just did the necessary steps that I needed to do so that the fibroids would go back to a, uh, so that my body could go back into a homeostasis state. So what I did was I healed my body and then the fibroids dissolve. So what are fibroid tumors anyway? These fibroid tumors are uh, give you some, some uh, facts based on science, and then I'm gonna give you some back facts <laughs> based on truths about how the body works biochemically. So fibroids, according to science, are made of smooth muscle tissue cells um, and fibrous connective tissue, and they develop in the uterus it is estimated that 70 to 80% of women will develop fibroids in their lifetime. Of those 70 to 80%, I'm going to say 90% of those are women of color. Okay. However, not everyone will develop symptoms with fibroids. Now, that's not my story. My story is quite different. I had the most debilitating symptoms of fibroids, the heavy bleeding, bloating, um, looking pregnant, uh, you know, anemia, severe deadly anemia where blood count was down to 2.9 critical icu uh 10 units of blood in a transfusion and it was at that point that i made the decision you know, you're gonna figure this out or you're not gonna have a reason to need to figure this out so uh seven, seven doctors like i said before told me that my only option was a hysterectomy i knew that that could not be the truth because if you can overcome the common cold or flu or pneumonia, then surely you can overcome fibroids. There was something innately inside of me that 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 resounded loudly um, in my spirit that said, you know what, uh, there's something else to this. So let me, I told you I was gonna give you some scientific definitions and also what fibroids really are in just in layman's terms. Um, they are internal trash bags housing those things that pertain to our um, emotions, bad eating, um, traumas, creativity, those things that house who we really are. And when we are able to, and, and I don't mean that in a bad way, fibroids are really not bad news. They just develop, call, or they, they develop and they cause bad symptoms. But they're not really bad news. So one of the biggest things, I'm going to give you some tips on this video. I'm going to give you three tips. But first, let me give you some other key points about uterine fibroids. So uterine fibroids are the most common tumor of the reproductive tract. Um, women who are nearing menopause are at a greater risk of fibroids. Uh, fibroids are most often found during a routine pelvic exam. Some women may never even experience symptoms uh, for fibroids, and then others will experience symptoms that uh, painful sex, um, again, bloating, miscarriage, infertility, things like that will cause a woman to go and have the, you know, have a, a, a specific um, or have pelvic exams done, and then then they can find out that they that's typically when they find out about the tumors. The symptoms, uh, like I said, may include heavy and prolonged periods, bleeding between periods, pelvic pain, and there are a variety of treatments available. There are also different types of fibroids. Um, Subserosal fibroids, these are the most common and they can push outside the uterus into the pelvis. Uh, listen, and they, um, they cause a lot of pain. So Intramural fibroids are, they develop in the muscular wall of the uterus. And then submucosal, these are uh, not as common. They can grow into the open space inside the uterus and may also um, include the stalk. Now, the stalk also is called the pedunculated. They grow on the stalk and they can kind of twist and turn, causing lots of pain, lots of fear, um, lots of panic. And these are those 
well, any of the fibroids, especially those that are in the canal, they cause a lot of bleeding, a lot of pain, and then doctors will, you know, typically pre recommend surgery. Well, like I said, my story, seven doctors said, surgery, your only option, not even a myomectomy or uterine artery embolization, but a full out hysterectomy. I was full of fibroids or uterus. I just must have neglected her for what all my life just never knew never connected all i knew was that that thing caused me a lot of pain every month and i hated her so i told you i was going to give you some tips on how i healed fibroids how i healed my body and my mind and my emotions and then was able to shrink and dissolve all nine of those fibroids the first thing that I did was I went raw vegan and not for the sake of I'm a vegan. I'm, I've got classism now. I'm a vegan. I mean, a lot of, you know, it's not about, wasn't about any of that. It was about survival. It was about, I needed to come off of the things. I learned that the things on the plate affected the fate of my health. And uh, what I was consuming was beginning to consume me. And I was eating very low vibrational foods. I was very athletic most of my life. And I just didn't have a reason to have to, to, have to eat healthy or so I thought. Well, along with the things in life that could cause us to uh, experience trauma, I also, on top of that, was not eating a, a, a healthy plant-based diet. So... On my journey, I learned that the foods that are closest to nature, closest to a natural state, whole, minimally processed, plant-based foods were those foods that help my body to get back into a, an environment that allowed the cellular reproduction um, in my body's cells to be healthy and not toxic so that was one of the first things and i started to get results feel a little bit more energy um and i i just you know skin started to clear up from the craters and the acne and the, just all of that horror that was involved with the, all of the physical symptoms of fibroids the anemia the lethargy the um the dizziness the the just the whole brain fogginess the next thing I remember, uh, the, the second tip, so the first tip was um, I went 100% raw vegan. And remember, I was in a critical state, so I didn't have time to play. I, they wanted to perform a radical surgery on me. I needed to take a radical approach to my healing, and that's what I did. The second thing I learned was that it was something about being able to connect um, emotionally, mentally, mind, body, like connecting the spirit with, a, with my higher uh, being higher, be, like connecting to God, connecting to source, con uh, aligning my energy. It had, it had something to do with energy. If you know anything about what we're made of, we are full of electricity and we are energy beings. So I needed to connect to the source of all energy. And I learned to do that through meditation and also um, the Eastern practices of Tai Chi and Qigong and yoga. These allowed me to calm myself down and get into my body. So the first thing was eating a raw, full of greens, green smoothies, salads, and, and, and every single day, especially the green smoothies, changed my life. And then I got into this meditative practice right and then thirdly i started to um just learn and start to develop a sense of self like becoming self-aware tapping into who i really am and reevaluating my life and 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 all that I was doing and all of the years where you're just running and gunning and just getting it and get uh, for for what what am I getting it for and where am I going when I get it <laughs> like where you know when I get soon well once I get there you know it'll be different for me once I get where in the hell is there so I had to reevaluate my life my purpose um my my values my sense of self. So um, these are the things that after I 
after I made this transformation in my life, um, it just became my life purpose to teach these things. So it just, it just happened it, like evolution. It just, as I evolved, you know, my, my, my desire and the hunger to teach others evolved. And that's when I decided to bring forth programs and and courses and teaching modalities to help other women. Um, and I'm telling you all this because I know that a lot of you have seen some of our other videos. You may have subscribed to um, to my, my, my list and, and become a part of my community. Um, just haven't really, you know, decided to purchase anything yet. Maybe pricing is a little bit too much. I don't know. Uh, or maybe you just needed more help or more. You just want to know a little bit more about what, where I come from. Well, what I've done uh, as a result of, you know, all that I have learned and am continuing to learn. The fibroids, sisters, was that was the first step. Like the journey for me has just begun and it's exciting. It's fulfilling. It's enlightening. It's transformative. And so what I've done is I've kind of bundled a lot of, like just kind of smashed and smooshed a lot of what I've learned into a, uh, into a very, you know, very short package. And I call it the fibroid basics boot camp, right? And it's literally just, you know, about a few hours long, about three and a half hours long, but it's everything. It's like, I'm describing what the fibroids are, explaining the uterus. Um, I'm explaining, you know, what, uh, the fibroids, how they actually develop and why we manifest them, how it's, you know, uh, does have a lot to do with what we think, what, you know, our, our consciousness, what we've been, what we've been taught, how we've been programmed, um, what we've developed from our mothers and our ancestors and, and, and the environment around us. Um, I'm, I'm giving you all of the steps of what I did to heal naturally. I'm kind of going through it a little bit fast, but you know what? It's it's the just keep repeating yourself and and just keep playing it over and over. Um, and this this project is like it's under thirty bucks. So um, and and I'm just really smashing a lot of information in there so that you can get it. Like this is the time to start getting it. And how you feel will determine how you heal. How you feel will affect how you heal. So this is about feeling good about yourself, forgiving yourself, trusting yourself. Your intuition will never lie, ever steer you wrong. That's the God part of you, sisters. And so I just really want us to get there as a, as a, as a, as a species, as womb men. And when we heal our wombs, we can heal our world. That's just real talk. So I'm giving you a whole lot of real talk in this program. It's 30, 27 bucks. Um, I'm just going to get like just everything. I mean, I'm just going to give you everything I know to throw in the whole kitchen sink. And, uh, you know, hopefully it just gets you in the right mind frame, like really transforming, like really get in there. This is no hocus pocus, woo woo, foo foo, do do, none of that. This is just the real talk, detoxing got to detox. There's no way around it. People like I'm 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 amazed that women are afraid to go to the bathroom. Like really? You got to clean out that toxin. You got to clean out that colon. You got to clean that liver. You got to clean um uh, uh that um those vital organs that are the filtering system, the liver, the kidney, the colon. We've got to detox. We've got and we got to replenish after that. And we got to learn. This isn't a one 30 day challenge kind of thing. This is a lifestyle transformation. So anyway, I know I'm going on and on and on. Just listen, get this $27 package, get this bundle, this 20, this fibroid basics boot camp, $27. Let's get this, let's get these fibroids healed so we can, there's 600,000 hysterectomies up to 2 million a year. This is crazy. This is a pandemic. I love what my sister Latoya, uh, the, the fibroid pandemic says. If we were wearing these tumors on the outside of our bodies, the world would be shut down. So um, take the journey, walk with me. Let me give you what I know and let's get busy with healing fibroids. All right. All right. Love y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.